In the Orange now waiting for selection Sunday after falling to rival Duke in the ACC tournament. Yep, Tyus Battle had to sit out again because of that bruised lower back and tailbone. But there was one guy back from injury as uh, Tyus cheered on his team from the bench in his sweats there. But uh, there was this guy named Zion Williamson, uh, <laughs> superstar. And uh, you think his knee is okay, Jennifer? Oh, yeah, yes. looked pretty good there. Uh, he only went 13 for 13 last night from the field. Bunch of dunks, three-pointer in there to just show what else he could do. Tons of rebounds. Uh, just amazing. A lot of highlights for him. Look at this one. Bam and his Kyrie <laughs> fours specially made for him. But Frank Howard helping keep the orange close. He ended up with 28 points when uh, the game was finally done there. Some big three pointers for him. Uh, getting some big contributions also out of O'Shea Brissett uh, down low with a big one here. And, and Buddy Beheim uh, scoring well uh, for the orange. But just too much Duke. RJ Barrett quietly goes for 23, and the Blue Devils come out on top. They head off to the summits to take on North Carolina. The Orange now wait for selection Sunday. Our Darius Joshua is still in Charlotte. He's got more on what was a good performance for the Orange, but it just wasn't quite good enough. Entering last night's quarterfinal matchup between Syracuse and Duke, there was a lot of talk about injuries. On the SU side, whether or not Tyus Battle would play. On the Duke side, the return of Zion Williamson. The ACC player and rookie of the year played like it last night, going an ACC tournament record 13 for 13 for 29 points. While SU fought hard, Zion simply overpowered the Orange. You know, we knew, we knew they were a good team. We knew, you know, what they brought to the table coming in. And, um, you know, we were just kind of prepared for that. I felt like we started off slow, and, you know, that's what really, you know, created the separation. But um, I felt like the guys did a great job fighting back. You know, everyone that came in, you know, did something to help us out, uh, you know, to get back to, into the game. Hey, Frank really led us in the first half there and got everyone going, and uh, we just played really solid on defense the whole game, I thought. And, you know, Zion's probably the best player in college basketball. Well, it's tough to stop someone like that, and he got going. He was amped up to play first game back, so we knew he was going to be ready. You know, special, you know, being able to move at that at, at, at that size and that speed, and uh, you know, be able to rise over guys and stuff. And uh, you know, we just we try to make it tough on him. You know, but he's some tough shots down there. Now at halftime of the game, some videos started to circulate where it appeared Frank Howard tried to trip Zion Williamson. And speaking with Howard after the game, he said the notion of that was simply silly to him and that he wasn't trying to do that. He also added he didn't wait four years to start tripping people. As a team, Syracuse is now 20 and 13, and they await for selection Sunday to find out its NCAA tournament seating. With the Orange inside the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, Darius Joshua, News Channel 9 Sports.